Now, the controversy surrounding drone warfare has been tackled by many activists, but perhaps never before by using video games, as one group of developers are now trying. The project Killbox is trying to draw attention to civilian losses in drone strikes. Now, it offers players two options to be either a drone pilot or a civilian in a Pakistani village. Drone pilots get to feel absolute power, but have little freedom as they can only follow orders. While civilian characters, well, they've got the opposite experience. By choosing to be a pilot, the creators hope the player will experience what it's like to have control over innocent lives. The really truth, hard answer to say is that I'm sorry that uh, the mistake happened and uh, I'm doing everything that I can to prevent further mistakes from happening. And when playing as a civilian, you're free to move around the area. But when an airstrike comes, it's meant to be a deafening and scary experience. <laughs> The Americans should be able to tell an ordinary person from a Taliban leader. They should know who they're killing. Well, so far, the game's been met with a mixed response, with some calling it moving and others simply chilling. We spoke to the creators of it. You don't want people coming away saying, wow, that was really fun, what a cool game. You know, it, it, um, it, it is meant to be a, a serious message. People are starting to use games as a way to engage with actual political uh, uh, instances. You can't help but become um, feeling empathy for, for, for the characters that you've been playing through. We've had a lot of very different uh, reactions, but generally people are quite uh, shocked and they feel uh, like They've been through an experience where they, they get to understand two sides of a situation. We've actually had some instances of people playing the game as well who are, are drawn to tears by it. I mean, that it's, it's a very disturbing experience. It has taken them to some place that they were not expecting. Coming up on the program, Max Kaiser is on the road for the U.S. election season. Stay with us for that.